All right, so this is a video on the astro hours, what happened yesterday, but today is Saturday, so we're also going to look at whether our swing days worked out or not. Now, every day, as you know, I'm putting the astro hours here, so let's take a look at what happened with the astrological hours yesterday, and as you know, we're using astrology with technical analysis, and that's the best way to go, and this is gold. Now, look at all this. This all happened at the astrological hours um, of, you know, what I said but let's take a look at Friday since this is talking about the 25th. Now, the 25th, I said from 9 to 11.46, we're expecting a turn in the market. And remember, this is GMT plus three, right? So this is nine o'clock my time, GMT plus three. And that is 10 o'clock. As you can see, the market comes up to our resistance level there nicely on the daily pivot as well, and then falls down until what time? Well, it falls down until let's come here to see what that is. That is 5 p.m. my time, 6 p.m. my time. So as you can see, 5 p.m. there. All right, so the market comes down to the 5 p.m. here. 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. And as you can see, the market buys, starts buying a little bit. As you can see from here, it was. So it completely stops at these hours here. Um, and picks up from here. All right, perfect astro timing analysis. And as you know, we had these um, buy levels from before. So if you're following the videos on YouTube, you'll be able to track everything that I'm recording and doing. Now, as you know, also, this was an astrological hour on Thursday um, with Euro dollar. The market came down. And, and as you know, we were sellers from the tops, buyers at the bottom. And let's see what that is. Now, that is, as you can see, 12 o'clock on the on the platform, but 1 p.m. my time. So it's 12 o'clock. Okay, that's 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So as you can see, at 9 o'clock, the market slides down. And this is 2 o'clock, and that's 3 o'clock shooting upwards. Okay, this would have been a difficult twist to get, okay, for sure. But we had the top there, nice little pull down. How many points was that from there to there? But remember, our direction is also going up on this one because at the bottom, we're now moving upwards. And this is not a bad thing. This is like from, down, from there to there, it's like 50 pips, right? 50 points. So that's pretty cool in a few hours. And then the market's going back up again and closing. Uh, until closing let's take a look at so that would have been a difficult turn to get because we didn't have that only at this hour it started turning around but that's how it is let's take a look at us 30 what happened on friday this is friday now what do we have here that's seven o'clock eight o'clock nine o'clock there as you can see the market pulls down sticks around here until what this is two o'clock three o'clock as you can see it's just from 3 30 onwards it's just moving shooting up we also had this level on thursday so that's nice and easy yesterday in the video as well i said if it pulls back down here into our astrological hours it'll be okay to go up and it was just nice of it to pull down here as you can see this is actually 11 o'clock by the way all right so it pulled back at the 11.46, all right? Nice pullback at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, it starts pushing up and then going all the way there. And obviously these are our targets I did mention yesterday, going up to here was just logical, all right. Um, what else? Let's take a look at Bitcoin to see how that panned out. Bitcoin as well. So this is yesterday's Bitcoin. Let's see when, when the pullback was. You see, that's 12 o'clock there. All right, so pretty much 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock market moves up into what hour? As you can see, that's 4 o'clock. All right, so 4 o'clock market makes a top. 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock comes down to the 9 o'clock. So from there onwards, as you can see, it's going down. So that 3.30 five o'clock whoops let's pull that back time period okay 3 30 that's the three o'clock bar four o'clock bar five o'clock bar market pulls back comes down into the nine o'clock all right and the latest we had was 8 30 so 
crypto was a bit tricky. The reason it was a bit tricky, you need to do it with your technical analysis, right? If it does not match your technical analysis, then obviously you're not trading it. So we're always determining what to do according to um, technical analysis. You don't, you're not just going to dive in there, okay? It's not a good idea. Um, so during the week, we had some really good levels. For example, on all the US 30s, we had the tops where we could sell. And that was all logical from here onwards, actually. All of the tops we had at our astrological hours, and it was just matching our technical analysis perfectly. Also, this target was a PST level on our 80 AM strategy on the daily down here, as you can see. And it was only logical for the market to pick up. And this was also an astrological hour. This was an astrological hour as well. So you can watch those videos as well if you haven't. And you can check it out. And yesterday I said pull back into this zone would be a buy opportunity. And market comes straight in there with like 11 o'clock, as you can see, 11.46 there, coming right in there and nicely going up. So first you've got to do your technical analysis then your astro hours are going to work wonders for you. In fact, I've just recently done a PDF book on how to use astrology with your technical analysis, which will make things really easy. And I put a lot of examples in there. And also from one of the guys who doing, uh, who's also using astrology uh, timing at the Global Trader Club, and he's using also technical analysis. And he also sent me a bunch of examples with great trades on. I put them all into a uh, PDF book, and we're going to be putting that on the members area as well. All right, so now let's take a look at the swing days, right? <clears throat> swing days and how they worked out for the whole week. Let's take a look at the swing days, GAN swing day analysis. So this, these get posted on every Monday. All right, so let me put this into that. And then we'll take a look at, again, the gold, your dollar Dow Jones, and see how it all panned out. Let's see. So these are the swing days for some selected stuff, as you can see here. Gold, the 22nd and the 25th of February. So we're expecting these to be swing days, right? 22nd. Let's take a look at the 22nd. So the 22nd is there. Okay. And that's what the low was. And the market, well, that's the 21st. All right. And 21st of February was Monday. So on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we were pretty much at that level. So this made the swing there. We could say it was a swing day because the market didn't go much lower. It just went straight up from there. And this is the 24th. All right. So this is the 24th, right? And then we had the 25th. So the 25th. So we're just shy off, actually. The 24th would have been a nice swing day for us as well. Okay. So that's the 24th. So we're a bit... We're in a, a day off on this one. Okay, this would have been a nice swing day for us. Let's see what happened with Bitcoin. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Now for Bitcoin, we said the 21st and the 25th of February. So 25th, that's the 25th there. And the 21st is there. Okay, so that was a Monday. So we said that was going to be a swing day. As you can see last week, I also said this was going to be a swing day. The, 15th and the 16th and that was a nice swing day so this week's swing was the 21st as you can see coming nicely into the 24th all right so we're one day off on the second one there as well okay but this made the targets as you know with our technical analysis if you're following them so you should have been long in there in any case Let's take a look at NASDAQ 21 25th. Before we go on to that, let's take a look, look at Euro dollar 25th of Feb. Euro dollar. So on the Euro dollar, and it had the 25th of Feb. And that's yesterday. So we're just one day off shy of that as well. Remember, this was also a target zone for us. So it would have been there, but still we would this would have been hard to get. All right. You can see the 24th here. That's the swing day. So we're one day off there. All right. I'm going to be renewing the, also the Excels since we've moved into 2022. And we're going to be looking into um, swing days as always, but I'm just going to renew and update the Excels as well. So that's going to be that. Let's take a look at NASDAQ 21 and the 25th. 
let's do NASDAQ 21st and 25th. We often get two days simply because um, the, you know, in the week, they will have a swing top and a swing bottom kind of thing. We do have a plus or minus 24 hour rule, but I don't like to use it. I just want to make sure that this is, you know, just want to give a date and that'll be kind of it kind of thing. Now, that's the 21st. As you can see, that's the high of the week. All right. That's pretty much where the week was high. And on Friday, we went back up there. So on the 21st, that was a nice swing. And the market did not go higher comes into the 24th and that's the other swing day okay so 25th we're one day off on this one as well as you can see but there unless the market turns around from here and goes down we won't know on that until next week but the 21st definitely nice and easy that's a monday pretty much top of the week bring us down here and with nasdaq as you know we had levels down here, so it's only logical the market bought right on our PSC as well. So that's how the swing days worked out for us, pretty much. We're okay with it uh, because we're also using our daily astro hours every day to enter trades. All right, so that's making it really precise with your technical analysis. All right, so that's the results for this week's swing days and Friday's astro hours.